Clippers hosting the Hornets, and the Clippers are seven-point favorites. The over-under I have at 225. I have the Hornets at plus 240 on the money line and the Clippers at minus 305. Both of these teams won the last game that they played. The Hornets are 14, 15, and 2 against the spread. The over is 16, 14, and 1 in the games in which they played in, and they are awful on the road. They are 4 and 12. Mind you, they were injury plagued earlier this year. The Clippers are 16 and 16 against the spread. The under is 21 and 11 in the games in which they played in, and they are 10 and 7 at home. And the Clippers are one of these teams, just like the Lakers, that anytime you want to bet any kind of money on them, go to Underdog on Twitter and check to see what players are actually playing in this game before you bet it. You may have to wait a little bit closer to tip off, but at least you'll hold on to some of your money. Now, head-to-head, -head, the Clippers are on a nine-game winning streak against the Hornets. The Clippers are 9-1 and one against the Hornets in their last 10 meetings. The underdog has covered the last two games. The favorite is 6-4 and four against the spread, and the favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10 meetings. The road team is on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 6-4 and four in their last 10, and the over-under at 225 is 1, 2, 3, 4, is the under is six and four in their last 10 meetings. The last game that they played, the Clippers won 119 to 117. They were six and a half point road favorites. They did not cover. The game before that, the Clippers won 115 to 90. They were six point underdogs. They won the game outright. The game before that, the Clippers won 120 to 106 as six point home favorites. The game before that, the Clippers won 113 to 90 as eight and a half point road favorites. Seemingly, the Clippers own the Hornets. I just don't know if they're going to be able to blow anyone out, missing a bunch of players. I'm going to take the Clippers with the money line, the Hornets getting the points, and I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.